Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about solving linear equations in one variable by graphing. Some linear equations are easy to solve, things like 3x equals 12 or 4x minus 7 is 21. But as equations get more complicated, having additional ways to solve can be really helpful. So let's consider 1 fourth of x minus 5 plus 9 is 2 thirds of x plus 8 minus 3. We could expand both sides and we would get 1 fourth x minus 5 over 4 plus 9 is 2 thirds of x plus 16 over 3 minus 3. But this still looks complicated, so let's try another approach. Let's separate the equation. We'll take the left hand side of the equation and make it into a line y equals 1 fourth of x minus 5 plus 9. Then we'll take the right hand side of the equation and make it y equals 2 thirds of x plus 8 minus 3. From here, we can graph these two lines and see where they cross. And I don't mean for you to do this by hand. Let's use a graphing calculator to see how easy this can be. So I opened up Desmos and I'm going to type in y equals 1 fourth, do my parentheses, x minus 5 plus 9. And then I'll go to the second line and type y equals 2 thirds of parentheses x plus 8 minus 3. Since I don't see where it intersects right now, I can either kind of scroll in, scroll out, so I could zoom or I can just move my screen around until I find it. And then when you tap anywhere on the graphs, it will show you the intersection point. So it says 1311. What this means is the X value is 13 and when they're equal to the left or right side, the value would be equal to 11. You don't really need the 11, you just need the 13 that says this is the answer to the equation. Let me give you a quick hint about variables. If you need to solve something like 0.2y plus 0.3y minus 7 equals 1.2y minus 2.7y minus 8. There is that little confusion with y being the variable and then you trying to graph. So the first thing you need to do is to rewrite the equation in terms of x. So you would write 0.2x plus 0.3x minus 7 equals 1.2x minus 2.7x minus 8. This is what you would want to graph and remember the value of x is your answer. We're going to put that into Desmos, so I'm going to type in y equals 0.2x plus, let's do our parenthesis, 0.3x minus 7, and then the right side of the equation is y equals 1.2x minus, put in your parenthesis, 2.7x minus 8. If you are in the standard view, you might not see it, and then remember to tap either one of the lines and it will show you the point, which is the answer. So this time it says our answer is 7.5. This technique would work no matter what your variable is, just remember you'll have to rewrite it in terms of x and y when you want to go graph it. Good luck.